So you got your new phone. It's so shiny. It has quad core camera, 64 MP, and then it has camera two out of the box. Then there is Gcam also port available. So you install the Gcam, open your Gcam, gave it every permission possible. You just moved outside, took a picture, then went to gallery, and what? What is this? That's not looking good. Is this Gcam? But then you go back, did some tweaks in the setting, played around, got the right setting for it, and then you come back, then you take another picture, then you go to your gallery, and then BOOM! Now it's looking a little bit better. So now, how do you move from this to this? I'll show you in a split second. If you watched up to this point, please subscribe to our channel. As a young channel, it really, really encourages us and you can be part of our growth and our history. Thank you very much. So let's go into the video. We'll start from a fresh installation again, and then you give all the permission that you should give to your new installed Gcam 7.2. This is for 7.2, not for 6.2 and 6.3. So I always like to turn off the motion. I like to turn off the motion and then I make the screen wider. So um, after you've gone that, that's not even the setting. We're still going to the setting. So you take your picture from your new installed Gcam. Then you open the gallery to view the picture. I was like, what? This is so dry. This is like black and white. You know, what is happening? Is this Gcam? Yes, it is Gcam because uh, from uh, uh, Gcam 7.2, 7 and above, I think Google is beginning to tweak it to, to not just look good, you know, when you put it in another phone. I don't know why, but let's go into the setting. There are a few things you might just want to set up here, including this preview selfie as it is. It's always good if you want to snap selfie. Um, then you can do social sharing. It's very, very, you know, fast. Sharing, but we're going to do more in the advanced. I'm going to show you the key things you're going to look at in the advanced setting. Uh, first of all, shout out to the developer Unix05 that did this work, so it's very, very, very important. And then you see Anova82 and then BSG and a whole lot of stuff. Then thank you for all the work you put in. So, but I'm going to show you just the settings and the tweak how to get the best out of this G port. So, going in the setting that HGR control is very important, just turn it on so you can see it there. Then look at this three thing leap patcher, pixel. Uh, uh, auto white balance and then that's frame HDR. I also talked about astrophotography in the other uh, uh, picture. So look at that. We we'll start from HDR enhanced. So we'll move to higher frame, 25 frame, and then in pixel auto white balance we're going to either select uh, IMX 586 or Pixel 3. I like Pixel 3. So with these two settings now, let's go and see what could be the improvement. So from our very first dry picture, we're going to take another picture now. And then we'll go to the gallery, boom, there's a significant change. So now from this, the first one we snapped, to this one, the second one we just snapped right now is an improvement. But this is just for starters. I'm going to take you higher than this so that you get the best and the best out of your Gcam 7 and above. So you go back to your advanced setting. We talked, we dealt with um, uh, uh, HDR enhanced frame and then pixel auto white balance. And then now we're going to go to leap patcher. And then this is where the libraries are set up. So you're going to turn it on. And then let's look at the sharpness, the luma, the noise, the chroma, the noise, uh, saturation contrast and all that so for sharpness I like to bring it up a little bit so I can show you the difference between it and the, uh, the other one there is a whole lot of things you can choose just choose according to whatever you like but I want to understand how they work so for Luma, uh, Luma Chrome I'm just bring it up a little bit above Google default I just like to come up a little bit above Google default so then also the same thing applies for contrast I'm gonna go up a little bit and then for saturation I'm gonna bump it up a little bit and then we're gonna take another picture so you can see it's always important for you to restart the whole camera app uh, before you, you know, take uh, after you change setting. But I'm not going to do that. It still works. So now I'm going to take another picture now and we're going to look at it. So if you look at it now, it's looking more like it. So this is the other one we snap. Uh, this is the first one we snap. The second one and then the third one now has a little bit more richness and details in it than, you know, the first one. So, but I am still not satisfied. There is so much more you can do with this. So I'm going to take you back to the advanced set. 
setting and then I'm going to go back to lead patcher and I'm going to bump it up a little bit starting from um, sharpness I'm going to bump it up a little bit and then the noise the noise I'm going to bump it up a little bit and then the chroma the noise I'm going to bump it up a little bit and then the contrast I'm going to bump it up a little bit I just want you to see if you look detail you could pause the video and look at it in detail you can see a little I'm bumping up the saturation a little bit so I'm going to go back to the camera app I'm going to take another picture and I'm going to show you the difference so from here again I'm going to take another picture and then I'm going to go into and I'm going to show you the difference between that and the other one so if you're looking now you're going to see this one is not just is this one a bit sharper reach have a good so you look at this one now this one is sharper reach more detailed and then you just keep going till the first one we took so you see how you're improving and how you're improving and how you're improving your picture to this one right now so uh, for me it's also depending on your choice whether you want a higher saturation a lesser saturation and then what I noticed in this is the HDR I told you something about the HDR enhanced the HDR plus and the HDR enhanced so I don't think there is much difference between the two of them you're gonna look down under the desk uh, the images so I'm gonna take this with HDR and then I'm gonna go back and take another one with HDR enhanced there is no much difference but if you look in there's little 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 difference so it takes time it takes a little bit time when you're taking HDR enhanced so that's the reason why I actually don't bother using it because I feel that the normal HDR plus does the good job so if you look at this one now under under the desk there's a little bit more light it's a little bit clearer than the way it is in the previous one that's HDR plus and really there's not much that's not that, that noticeable difference in it so but the HDR enhanced took time you know to process and to snap so that's just about that so I'm going to beg you and ask you to please subscribe like a video and I'll see you in the next one to subscribe I see you. Hey, call. Hey, my body call. Hey, my body's high.